हाई स्टूडेंट्स स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ फोर्थ स्टैंडर्ड इंग्लिश मीडियम लेट्स आफ्टर लिटिल पॉज वी मेट यूर अगेन स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ फोर्थ स्टैंडर्ड इंग्लिश मीडियम टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू जी के सब्जेक्ट एंड यू विल ओप ऑन पेज नंबर फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन ओके एंड देन सिक्सटीन स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न थ्री चैप्टर्स सो इन दिस सेशन यू हैव टू पे अटेंशन on chapter number 9 10 and 11 students now let's we have to get short intro of these chapters students what is there in chapter number 9 page number 40 students in page number 40 you can see chapter number 9 beautiful flowers this topic is belong to nature means around us there are different types of flowers but little bit we know about them here in this book some flowers are related to our related to our knowledge but some flowers are not related to our knowledge so that's why friends we have to go on this chapter in number 14 with the flowers there we we'll get the knowledge of different types of flowers okay then we will see chapter number 10 there you can see pictures of bridge so here let's the title is the window to the world means this bridge can show us window of the world famous bridge whatever bridge are there in the world about that we will learn in this chapter okay then uh, we will see chapter number 11 plant kingdom on page number 16 okay then you will see uh, different types of plant kingdom means you will get the knowledge of plant different types of plants are there some are familiar and some are unknown so you will get the knowledge about plant kingdom hmm? here i have written answer and uh, the basic concept clues given in your book that's i will read and i will i will explain and then we will see its answer on the right side i have written short intro how you will remember this answer by uh, reading the question one word okay see uh, here in beautiful flowers read the given descriptions carefully means you have to read the description carefully and then identify the flowers in exam also only the description given and give and then uh, you have to identify the name of flowers so let's i am reading first question and then i will describe it the first question is like this in your book these flowers have bright yellow petals means if you will see this flower this flower is known as the bright yellow petals means Or uh, around this flower, you will see yellow colored petals. The seeds of these plants are used to produce edible oil. Means these flower seeds useful for the edible oils. In many house, okay, housewives using the edible oil of this flower, okay. And the name of this flower is sunflower. And in short, you want to. remember for example and bright yellow petals by this word you can remember this question answer okay bright yellow petals by using this word you can remember the answer sun flower okay the spelling is like this s u n sun flower f l o w e r okay understood now question number 2 c this is the world biggest flower this five petals flower is 1 meter in diameter and weight up to 11 kg okay what's the description is there see you have seen picture in red color this flower is known as the biggest flower and if you will see on the petals of this flower only we will see only five petals and it is in diameter is 1 meter and uh, its weight is up to 11 kg means when you get it so weight it will happen at 11 kg okay so the description of this question is uh, biggest flower of the world see it's a maybe zarafacea flower 
and in short we want to remember it as biggest flower in samanas which, uh, which is the big, biggest flower of the world then the rapalesia flower it's a spelling is like this ra are le ra ko f le f l i a s i a and power you know very well understood now question number 3 see this flower is stony and elegant it's a poisonous all parts of this plant is highly toxic and with a uh, capable to kill livestock if ingested means students here the description is telling that this flower is very stony and elegant means very uh, sensible sensible it's a very poisonous means if you will touch it it will easily uh, poisonous to you means something happen to you all the parts of this plants is very highly toxic highly toxic means if you will touch it then easily it will affect to you and it has capability to that kill livestock in just area yani ki koi jinda hai wo touch bhi kar leta hai to immediately marne ki sambhavna hai hoti hai okay so the name of this flower is kala nilka in short you want to know answer the story and again flower is that that means the answer is kala nilka flower kala okay by this what you can remember in which flower the, there is a kala to kill in livestock then you have to say that is known as the stunning and elegant okay next fourth it is the tallest flower in the world tallest flower in the world and it can grow uh, to a height of almost in 9 feet means 9 feet you can understand students uh, okay uh, like above than me okay so 9 feet means higher than so in short you want to no answer of this flower is uh, here i have written okay tiger aru it's a proper name and uh, tallest flower of the world if someone asks which is the tallest flower then tiger aru remember this okay now question number 5 is that it is it does not have leaves the roots of this flower use chlorophyll prepared to food it has a ghostly white color uh, the description is given for this flower this flower's name is ghost orchid whatever given equation ghost orchid is given by this you have to really balance and get up it does not have leaves means if you will see this flower it does not have any leaves and the roots of this flower used to make the chlorophyll you know doctors use chlorophyll at the time of operation and that chlorophyll get from this flower okay and uh, its color is whitey ghost color hmm? and its name is ghost orchid now sixth number question c this is the national flower of japan okay a uh, country uh, japan a uh, national flower is this you can see in picture it has a curled petal means its a petal is curled and the flower blooms in pink yellow and white red colors means it's getting the color uh, color in different way uh, one color is pink and another is yellow white and red colors means in this type of color you will get this flower this uh, flower name is cherry blossom okay it's a flower belong to japan country so in exam japan country is belong flower is cherry blossom and so students so this is the concept of uh, chapter number 9 about beautiful flowers now we have to see famous bridge in the world there are different types of bridges that's getting the uh, unique important see the description given as modern bridge are constructed to provide easy passage okay most famous bridges in the world have a various features that mean them distinct among other all over the world means is getting the different types of importance in the world whatever we see today bridges but these bridges are uh, look very unique one so let's we have to see first bridge is it's located in san francisco the first bridge is located in san francisco it's a city uh, city's most famous attractions means if you will go in san francisco uh, the san francisco is getting the attraction for this bridge this bridge took 7 years to build means when this be, uh, bridge built it's get it's take on uh, minimum 7 uh, years after 7 years this bridge is built the famous red orange color in the bridge was chosen to make a bridge more easily uh, visible through the thin fog 
means its a color is uh, given as red orange color why because it is a uh, it's a visible in the thick form means uh, san francisco is near the cold region so that's why uh, there you can see a fog atmosphere so in fog atmosphere all uh, vehicles driver can see this bridge easily and from far also so it's getting the red orange color and it's a name is i have written here golden gate bridge golden gate bridge and it's sort of can remember as san francisco in san francisco which bridge is very famous then you have to write that golden gate bridge now second question see it is india's first spare cable state bridge which spans in the on the yamuna river the uh, pylons of the bridge is the tallest structure in delhi and it's the double height of the kutub minar and it is made of the steel and concrete with the length of 675 meters means this bridge is situated in india and uh, it is more than higher of kutub minar if you will see delhi that's a kutub minar more than it's a higher than so its a length is 675 meters and the name of this bridge is signature bridge okay because we when we do signature we will do something higher that's why it is known as the signature bridge and on which river it is situated upon uh, yamuna river okay next tower bridge see it is a suspension uh, bridge of london built from 1886 till 1894 and it is a built over the river thames means there is this bridge built upon the river thames and the bridge consists of two towers means this bridge has two towers which are tied together upon the river by means of two horizontal uh, walkways okay means it's tied with the two horizontal walkways and this bridge is in particular the it's a native tower bridge because it's made with tar last question number 4 is it is one of the australia's most well known landmark means if you want to go australia you have to easily say let's i am in australia why because of this bridge okay this australia means australia country is famous because of this this bridge it's a landmark of australia it is made of steel and shape of an arch means it's the same like this it is a built across the sydney harbour means in australia the sydney is a place there you can see this bridge the beautiful view of bridge with the harbour and the sydney opera house from the wonderful sky of the city means you can also go uh, 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 enter in this bridge because the tower given in both side so if you will climb up on this tower then you will see the most beautiful city of australia sydney that means okay and name of this bridge is Sydney Harbour Bridge because it is situated in Sydney. Australia is a main country, but Sydney is a subsidiary country of Australia. Okay, students, uh, this is the concept of chapter number ten. Now you have to see chapter number eleven, Plant Kingdom. Oh, what is there in this Plant Kingdom? You know, students, uh, around us there are amazing plants, and they are rarely amazing and beyond uh, our imaginations, which we can't think about them. Here the first question is given about the white cedar. Okay, this plant name is white cedar. Why? Because the world's lowest growing plant. Means tree also we can say that, and it is located only in Canada. Means this plant you will see only in Canada. It has grown less than four inch in a height in one fifty five years. Means after one fifty five years, if you will see to this tree or plant, only its grow of only four inch. so its name is white cedar so it's a plant kingdom amazing now question number 2 the world fastest growing plant can grow up to 35 inch in per day students okay in one day its height getting as 35 inch and its name is mango fastest okay growing plant understood fastest growing plant understood another question third the tallest tree in the world stand 369 feet tall and is over 2000 years old this plant is minimum 2000 year old and its a tall tallness is 369 okay now uh, feet it is a rare wood in the park california usa means this plant you will find in a rare wood in the park and in this is the park is situated in california 
it's in USA, United States of America. And um, the name of this line is Cost Railroad Tree. Okay, Cost Railroad Tree. And this uh, place is situated near ocean. So that's why it's getting the name Cost Railroad Trees. Understood? Now, fourth question C. Name the world's most poisonous plant. World most poisonous plant. I mean, if you will touch to this plant, then maybe you will also die. Okay? Here the question given. So, uh, I mean, I think it's a poisonous plant. So, if you will touch it, then something effect will happen on our body. So, here the name the world most poisonous plant. Okay? Let's say the name is question number four. Darium polyander. Okay? Darium polyander. It's an image most poisonous plant. If someone asks most poisonous plant of the world, then the name comes as Darium polyander. Darium polyander. Okay? And now, question number five. Kerala cactus. Which is the world biggest cactus? Biggest cactus in those plants in India you can see, but different. Here in picture you can see uh, it's the name of this cactus. And it is the world biggest cactus. It can be 70 feet. Tall and weight, weight 25 tons. Okay, minimum it can be 70 feet tall and weight 25 tons. If you will see this plant, it is the biggest cactus of the world, but students, minimum 70 feet tall and weight 25 tons. If you will see, its answer is Kerala cactus and uh, biggest cactus, and maybe it will see only in desert area. Okay, there rainfall in place at that place you can see these types of cactus. Okay, understood students? These three chapters I hope you understood very well. And refer these chapters at your home and write down in the notebook. Uh, at last, take care. Thank you.